And right now at five, live pictures from Washington, D.C. We do want to show you a steady stream of people outside the U.S. Capitol. They are all in line waiting to pay their respects to late Congressman John Lewis. Overnight, the whole world just changed. <laughs> and it all started with him. I'm standing on the great shoulders of people like that. They lost their life for us to have a better life. Tonight, his body lies in state at the Capitol, and tomorrow he flies home to Atlanta for more memorial services as well as his final resting place. CBS 46's Adam Murphy joins us in Washington speaking about the late congressman's introduction to a national audience. This is the spot where the late Congressman John Lewis made history here in D.C. on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. He helped organize the March on Washington and even gave a speech at this point right here before thousands of people in the shadow of the Washington Monument. We must say, wake up America, wake up, for we cannot stop and we will not and cannot be patient. He was just big, he's bigger than life. More than five decades ago, at the age of 23, John Lewis shared words of wisdom at the March on Washington. I remember we shall splinter the segregated South into a thousand pieces. His speech for equality propelled him to the top of the civil rights movement and helped shape the future of our nation. I think it's amazing. Joan Mulholland was there that day and has fond memories of this historic event. I think it's amazing that he just kept on keeping on and stuck with what he said he believed in to the end. Years later, Lewis was elected to the United States Congress and served 17 consecutive terms, still fighting for equal rights. He lived a full life. I mean, just to think about what his parents were sharecroppers, it just, you know, he couldn't even have envisioned this. He pretty much got dropped, just dropped in that space and he accepted his position. It's only fitting that after his death, his body would lie in state in the Capitol Rotunda once again making history. He didn't care whether you were black, white, Asian, whatever. He just wanted to bring people together. One thing that's so incredible here on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. is this marker that you see right here where John Lewis and Dr. King gave incredible speeches. As you see, it says, I have a dream, Martin Luther King Jr., the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, August 28th. 1963. In Washington, D.C., Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.